Hi guys, welcome to another Devi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we're going to be taking a look at the Divi 5 gallery module in this video today, and they've made it so much easier to adjust columns and make it the way that you want it on each device. For instance, on desktop here, I've got this with three columns here. I think I've got 24 pictures in that one. Then I've done the same thing underneath with one that's got eight columns. And if I take a look on tablet and mobile, I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. If I hit my F12 key, here it is on the tablet. And I've got it down to six rows for the little film strip type one at the bottom there. And still three for our major one. And then when we go down to a phone, I've got it two columns there on the phone and three columns for our other one down here. Really easy to do, no coding involved. With Divi 4, we had to do a little bit of coding to change the amount of columns from the default on the gallery module. With Divi 5, we just do it with a fantastic new flex system. I'll show you exactly how. Let's start a new page. And we'll give it a name, just call it gallery. Coles for gallery columns. Of course, we're gonna use the Divi Builder. And here we are, the page is loaded. By default, it puts in a blank section, wants us to put in a row. I'm gonna put a single column in there. Funnily enough, I'm gonna use the gallery module. If we roll down, there's our gallery module. Now, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is add some images. It puts in a few by default there. So I'm gonna put in perhaps another 24. Too many red cars there. Let's select there to there and unselect some of these. And when we're happy, we'll just hit select. And of course, once they're in there, to move on, you can just left click on it, put it where you want it, release your mouse. Now there's only four displaying up there. It will only display four by default. If we look down here, image count four, I've got 24. So let's make that 24. Now these are all gen generated by Night Cafe crazy cars here. So they've got these AI type names to them, which I really don't want to see. So if we go down to elements just below here, we can choose to turn that off or you can change it in your media library if you want to see it. Don't need any pagination because we're showing all of the images that we put in there. So I can turn that one off too. Don't need to link. If I put a white background in here, I'm going to put these a little close together and have a one pixel board around everything. So let's add a white. Fantastic. You won't notice any difference because it's white on white in the background there. Great. Now comes the fun part. Let's go over to our design and layout. You'll see it's got it by grid as default. If you're doing a slider, you can do that too. Make it automatically slide, but we want the grid for ours today. Landscape orientation is fine. All of mine are pretty good looking in landscape orientation. If you want to flip them to a portrait, you can do right there. But as they're sort of cars and things, I think they look better with that landscape. Great. And down below, we've got our column class. By default, it's set to a quarter. So we've got four columns. If you want to change that to three, all you do is left click on here, change it to one third. We've got three columns. You know what a half's gonna do, etc. And you can change these for each device. So let's perhaps put a three on desktop, one third, and we can go to tablet mode. I think I kept that on tablet mode. And on phone mode, let's break it down to two perhaps. So we'll make that one half. So we've got two columns on the phone, three on the tablet, and three on the desktop. I do want to line these up a little bit more so they're closer. We can do that with our horizontal and vertical gap round here. At the moment, it's showing a percentage. I'm going to put in one PX for a pixel value. And I'm going to do exactly the same down below. That's actually got pixels selected. So I just need to put in a one. And they're nicely cinched up to each other like that. And we've got a little separator line. And it's exactly the same for the film strip version down below. So if I flip to wireframe mode, I'm going to add a new section. I'll throw a single column in there. I'm going to duplicate our gallery module with the two little squares right here. I'm going to drag one down. And I'm sure you figured out what I did for the film strip version of this. 
First thing I wanted to do is make this row full width so it stretches the whole of the screen here. To do that, go into the row, design, sizing, width. Just need to type 100 in there. It's got percentage selected on the end. Max width, I'm going to type 100 in there. I'm going to select percentage on the end of here as well, or you can type it in if you want to. We've now got our row stretching full screen. And if we now go into the gallery module itself, I think on desktop I had about eight columns. So let's go into the gallery module, design, layout. And if we put this down to one eighth there, we've got eight little columns and we've got a film strip type thing going on here which is perfect and then on tab i think i'll leave it like that on tablet and then on phone perhaps we'll have three so let's make that three one third and they have made it so easy it's incredible by default it's got an overlay on it if we look down here Overlay icon color, well, I'll leave it as white, but I don't want it a full white. I'm going to take the opacity down a little bit, to maybe 50%. That way we'll be able to see through it. And the actual ov overlay color, and I'll show you exactly what's going on in a moment. I'm going to make that black. And again, I'm going to take the opacity down to about 50%. Can't see it on the back end here, but when I go to the front end, you'll see what's going on there. If you want to change the icon, you can. I think by default, it's a little plus icon. And if you want to do anything like round the corners of your images or use filters and stuff, you can do that down here in the image. But I think we're good to go. Let's check this on the front and make sure everything's going to work correctly. We'll say draft. And we'll preview. And here we have it on desktop. That's the overlay of the default color, the white there, with the blue plus icon. And the one below, we made it dark and we darkened down the little plus icon and made it white there. That's working perfectly. Let's double check on tablet and mobile. Let me hit my F12 key again. And there's our little film strip one down the bottom there. Of course, we can tap on it or click on it, pop out into a light box. And here's our regular one. Same thing. We can click on it, tap. And the light box is going to pop out by default. And we'll check it on iPad. We've got our three columns on the top one. Well, I think we've still got eight on the bottom one. You could change that to six or something if you want to. You know how to do that. Really easy to do. And that is a really great upgrade for Divi 5 there. We had to add some CSS code with Divi 4 to be able to change the column structure, especially on different devices. And this makes it so much easier and you can throw together some really good looking galleries in no time at all, as you've seen today. So there we go, guys. That's a basic video today about the new gallery module with the Flex. They really have up their game with that and I'm really pleased with it. It would be nice to see it that we can make a masonry gallery with it. But for the time being, this works for me just fine. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.